back at it again with the good vibes. So I am here with Susie and Anna of I Am Heart Centered, all the way from New Zealand, and I'm all the way in California. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> excited to have them here today. <laughs> I'm going to let them introduce themselves so you can hear who they are. Cool. I'm Anna, and this is my mom, Susie. And yeah, we have started a journey called I Am Heart Centered. And we started sharing that journey about it on, in June last year on Instagram and social media and kind of just seen it expand. Hmm. So, so Anna had been overseas for about seven years and came home and is living with us again. And so <laughs> it's been quite exciting really for me as a mother, um, but also exciting that the learning that we've had for many years together, previous to Anna going away, that um, we've grown and we can share that with each other and share it with the world, really. And um, from my perspective, I've always, the last 40 years or plus, I've really lived um, meditation and spirit and working with the universe. And I've brought my three children up and that, that is just normal life, really. And um, yeah, so this has been an opportunity where I've had lots of ideas to share with the, with people and I do a lot of writing now and um, it's just happened really. Yeah. And we've just grown and so this past year we've had this commitment to sharing our, yeah. our journey yeah. of really being heart-centred, focusing all our life about mind, body and spirit and my background also is in physical education, so I've brought those aspects into it as well, that we live completely from mind, body and spirit and all that we do. And we've had lots of learning and we've rehashed old things in our lives, and um, but we've come out so much stronger on the other side and it's been fantastic to um, just to live in the moment really and have this opportunity to do it. Yeah. Um, I love it. So, <laughs> so and a little bit about us, but um, yeah, do you want to share? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's been great. Um, so yeah, I came home after being a six for seven years and feeling a little bit lost and a bit kind of. I think a lot of people go through that in your twenties of kind of what you're expecting and am I living, you know, my truth and my, you know, who I want to be. And um, so yes, yeah, so I came back home to kind of ground myself and figure that all out and um, it was great you know it was a great opportunity we decided to start sharing our story and our journey and it also helped I feel like it helped us kind of because we end up reflecting each day on what we're up to to be able to then share it and so something that you might typically just think about you know in your head but then you're actually putting it on paper and kind of sharing it um well, for us on Instagram and Facebook. And, and I think also people responding back, which has helped our growth as well. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's been good. Yeah. And, and we've truly lived, um, it's not just the spiritual side that we've been working on, it's been really that whole person perspective of um, really... Self-love, self I think, was the, is our biggest one. Hmm. Mm. It was coming back to that. It was. And, and part of my early journey in this past year has been really... I knew so much about forgiveness, but actually putting that into my life to learn about a bit more about self-love. And um, so that was a big part of the journey in the early days, wasn't it? Yeah. Just getting through those things. And, yeah. But, you know, we eat really well and we exercise every day, and so we're really taking care of that side of things as well. Yeah. And that's been fantastic. And, you know, we get up and meditate every day, and so it's a real practice. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where were you overseas? Um, I went to school at uh, University of Texas, so I was in Austin. Oh, oh cool! You're in um, America. Cool. How'd you like it? Yeah, and, um, I moved out to LA uh, after graduation. Worked out there for a bit, and then um, headed over to Canada and Toronto. So, oh wow! Um, so you got a good experience over here. <laughs> Yeah, so I kind of lived the whole America thing. But yeah. Oh, geez. Is, yeah. Would you say that you like really saw a difference in the way of living here compared to New Zealand? As far as um, um, how people treat one another um, and how they treat themselves? No, I mean, I think where you go and at who you interact with, everyone is pretty kind. Mm -hmm. um, I found, for me, I found that LA what I struggled with in LA was 
success was all completely related to your job and career. And so for me, I struggled with that. I thought success was a bigger thing of, you know, family and friends and love and um, mm. just and you know, exercise and health and all that. And I found, you know, quite a bit. So that was a bit of a struggle for me of, no, you need to work, 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 work <laughs> to prove that you're, you know, worthy. So, um, and that was, and that was an interesting thing too. Is I found that, you know, in LA, the first thing that anyone ever asks you is, what do you do for a job? So, <laughs> yeah, instead of, you know, who are you? Or, you know, what do you? <laughs> so, um, I think New Zealand is a little bit more balanced with the kind of the forty-hour work week, mm. or even less, and it's about a bit more about. I think too. Nature, so you know, can get out so easily into nature. So people are always kind of out and about and doing that. So it's a big part of our culture is getting out, exercising, and enjoying like the beauty, I guess, that we kind of live in. So well, we've only got four million people, and so like we live ten minutes from the centre of the capital city, mm-hmm. but within one minute I can ride my mountain bike or walk in the bush here or go <laughs> into an eco sanctuary. So. Um, <laughs> it's sort of crazy in that way, yeah. but it's fantastic yeah. as well. I, so, um, and I think that's what I kind of took for granted was, well, you know, I lived, grew up here thinking it was normal to be able to kind of just go out <laughs> and just be like, I'm going to go from walk in the mountains and just kind of pop outside and go. <laughs> and then, um, I mean, in Austin, it was, it was it's a very outdoor city, so it was all right. But then, you know, in LA, it's, you drive everywhere. And then when I was in Toronto, there was kind of no real mountain, you know, you had to really go out of the city to get into mm-hmm. nature. So um, I think that's what we really quite missed. Was and I think that because we're so much in nature, you know, like we meditate in nature, we've got, I've got a special tree that I sit under and all those sorts of things, mm-hmm. you know. So, um, yeah, you just have that part of your life, which is just easy to access. Yeah, that's it, interesting because I grew up in New York. And I didn't grow up in Manhattan, so I wasn't like in the city, I was outside of the city. Um, But it was, there's no nature. I mean, there's nature, there's parks and things like that, but it's different from the West Coast. So I think that's what draws me to the West Coast so much is I love the mountains. I love to kind of just be able to go to the mountains. It's amazing. And unfortunately the East Coast doesn't, well, some states do, but not in New York, unless you go outside of the city. So yeah. it is very different yeah. compared to New Zealand, I'm sure, which I would love to go to New Zealand <laughs> on my list. I'm going to come one day. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome to come inside. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, it's really been on my list for a while now. I see all these amazing pictures and I just am in awe. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's got a, um, a really good spiritual heart as well. There's a lot of people that are just attached to them. The energy. The energy. Yeah. yeah. So, and, um, yeah. That's so really nice. You could feel different but, energy. But you, you're, I'm sorry? Oh, sorry. It's a wee bit delayed. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> I just saw you at the big San Diego, and, and that's beautiful. Yes. San Diego is very, very beautiful here. It's more so uh, beaches. It's more beachy, yeah. like I would say. Um, I've, I've gone hiking a couple of times, but it's not really like, I lived in Arizona for a year and there, there's a lots, lots of hiking in Arizona. Um, here, yeah, not yeah. so much. It's, it's hiking, but to me, it's not like hiking from what I learned in Arizona, which was different yeah. from what I learned all my life because I didn't know hiking until I moved to Arizona. <laughs> 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 I had no idea about hiking. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you something. Oh. So why heart centered? Like, what is it about? Um, I know you were just saying like vibes. You could feel the energy in different places. Um, like when I uh, visited Sedona, I used to spend a lot of time in Sedona. The energy there is just very different than it is in New York. You know, that's a completely different mm-hmm. energy. Or in like LA. Um, what What is it about heart centered that really attracted you? Do you feel like uh, maybe New Zealand well, is a very heart centered? Yeah, I think for us it was kind of at times you get caught up in your head and you're, you know, you you think things logically like I should be doing this, shouldn't be doing that. Instead of mm. coming back to just being in that heart space in that moment of well, what does my heart want or what do I truly want and not what does society think I should, you know, I should be doing or what do my friends or, you know, or 
it might, you know, kind of your ego too, whereas the heart, and then yeah. we also talk about the chakras too. Yeah, the chakras, like, you know, my, my belief is, is that the heart chakra is the, um, connector. the connector between our divine and our physical. And so because I come from such a mind-body um, spirit perspective, I just thought that was the centre that we need to work with because everything's going to be drawn into here right. and, and just and just connect with that. And so we we thought a lot about, and we threw a few different names around, but we always came back to being heart-centred. And then um, I guess getting a dot-com name and <laughs> I am heart-centred was um, free. Free. <laughs> so it was and so well, thank you, universe. Yeah. You know, this is... <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that was a sign. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that's, and we felt really, really comfortable with that. And it's just grown from that, yeah. isn't it? And, um, you know, like we post every day, and, and that sort of really um, helped us on our journeys because we've got into these great routines of writing and meditating and um, exercising and all those sorts of things. Every day we do something and something always comes up for us to talk about. Yeah. We've never really struggled with it. Any. Yeah. And also taking our own photos and, and words, it's meant that we've gone on little adventures. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's, been, it's been really fun as a mother yeah. and daughter just to be like, we need a photo, like, <laughs> it's gone adventure instead of, you know, it's easy to get kind of caught up in everyday things and so it's just like, you know, mm. it's a beautiful day, let's go to the beach or like, instead yeah. of, you know, so it's really, um, really great. It's yes. gone on some really, really fun adventures that we probably wouldn't have gone on, you know, if we didn't need that photo of Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I love it. I think it's amazing what you guys are doing and what you promote and embody. I, I think heart-centered is the most important thing that everybody needs yeah. to focus on is the heart. Like, it it all it always comes back to the heart. Um, and yeah. Us, I really just very much resonate with your message. Um, and I appreciate what you mm. guys are doing. I really do. I think it's amazing. Um, if you could maybe give advice to somebody who um, has a mother or a mother figure in their life that they're not necessarily close to and want to kind of strengthen that bond, like for you, you were away from home for a while, um, what advice yeah. would you give them? Um, I mean, we've always had a close relationship, but yeah. um, for us, I think I, I, it's accepting one another for who they are, who they are in their journey, and, and, and listening to each other. I think has been really important, you know. And I, I think you know, like yesterday, we had a wonderful conversation together, and we shared a lot of things. <laughs> and, yeah, it was quite amazing, <laughs> it's really you know. Cool. And it's but and that and that's growing. So it's not an instant thing that you can create this this relationship together. I, I think it's one of trust and respect. And, and love of each other, but it's taking the time to be with each other yeah. and to and just... being open that we, you know, at times we have different views. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's okay. And, you know, just, I mean, I think this is what you've kind of, mm. with a lot of different uh, different relationships and, you know, different people that you meet is that, you know, we're going to come from different perspectives at times. Mm. It's about staying open and respecting each other and knowing that, you know, we are coming from a yeah. place of love. And, yeah. um, and I think just spending time with each other, getting yeah. to know each other, because you know, when I left home, I was, you know, a teenager. <laughs> and then I come back and I'm an adult. And so, and it's kind of yeah. recreating that relationship again. Of, yeah. You know, I'm not a kid anymore and, you know, I am an adult. And, and accepting you as you are. Yeah. And, um, yeah. No. Okay. But I, I think, you know, like um, when people um, perhaps distance, you know, things happen and people distance themselves. And um, it's just coming, you know, it probably is coming back to your heart and saying, well, what are the values of being heart-centered? You know, it's it's gratitude, it's forgiveness, it's love, love and respect. Love and, respect. And, um, and a lot of the time that people are having issues within the relationship is because they, you don't love yourself first. And if I don't love myself, I'm going to have a lot of problems loving you yeah. anyway. Yeah. You know. And so, um, so that's been a big journey. Um, yeah. And and but it's also understanding the journeys that we're having have just just give you that growth, you know, and at times it, it might be a hard part of your journey, but it's fantastic to, um, to just grow in those ways. Mm. And I think being the hard centre I'm finding lately, I've been really reflecting on this past year, is that things that I held on to and I worried about in the past, now returning to my heart, um, I can acknowledge them and accept them and move on a lot quicker than what I have done in the past. And, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we've been talking about um, mm. 
actually the last couple of days has been big for us is the idea of awareness. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, what are you putting out and, you know, what, where is your energy going? What's mm-hmm. your environment like? And mm-hmm. so I think kind of, you know, to relationships, it's the awareness of, you know, sometimes, you know, if, if I say something yeah. angry or without even, or, you know, my tone might change without me realizing. Yeah. And it's coming back to that awareness of, oh, wow, like I didn't mean to speak to you that way. Or yeah. like, I'm sorry that yeah. you might have, you know, taken that differently from what I was actually, mm. you know, but being more aware of just kind of what you're, what putting, you're putting out, out. What you're putting out and just kind of also, yeah, what you're, what you're feeling, you know, so it's mm. kind of, sorry, I might be a bit angry today because I'm tired or, <laughs> you know, like, or like I was stressed yesterday. And so just be aware that today, you know, our conversations might be a bit a bit yeah. funny, but, you know, a bit off. Yeah. So um, just that awareness, I think, yeah. is kind of to that. Yeah. I think that's a sort of answer. <laughs> that was a great answer. No, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, would you say also, I mean, I know you kind of touched on, like, self-love, um, but also yeah. being aware of how you treat yourself, not just others, but also, like, oh, your self-talk huge. And, and things like that. Yeah. Um, you- yeah, no, yeah. It's been a big. And that is that awareness of you know how you're treating yourself has been a big thing, and I've, that's what I've seen in kind of my you know relationships and friendships and everything. Is and I mean my entire environment really is. Mm. I finally, you know, kind of worked on. <laughs> so it was a process, but really learning to love myself and just how everything kind of started to evolve around me. Of I could see, you know the love around me now. Yeah. Instead of you can get kind of in a bu- bubble of the world's not, you know, that great mm. because you're not feeling that great within. Mm. And so when you learn that love, it is just kind of just love kind of just mm. everywhere, really. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's that self-love. Yeah, yeah it is. And um, I, I just know that even with my immediate um, family is that, you know, people are sort of really interested in the self-love, you know, and um, we've had lots of fun conversations and we have cousins and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just it's just evolving as a as a group. Yeah, I think you know people realizing that you yeah it's okay to love yourself as well. Sometimes yeah. I think people feel confuse it, confuse like, it like, with the ego or the, yeah. you know if you're you know well, I'm I really love myself and people mm-hmm. are like oh you know <laughs> kind of but well, um, narcissistic kind of thing or something. But it's really not mm, you know yeah. narcissism. No. Not at all. So I think, you know, it's separating that and just, mm. but, um, yeah, no, it's good. It's very good. Yeah. Um, how long have we, we've all, I think we've almost been half an hour. Um, is there, huh? <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, it feels like it's been like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at the time. Um, is there, Anything else that you want to share? Um, any other maybe tips or? Um... I mean, the big one. Oh, the big one for me is being. I learned to meditate when I was about twelve, mm-hmm. but it wasn't a daily thing. It was, you know, play a couple times a month or like, oh, I feel a bit funny, like I'll meditate. Um, it was kind mm-hmm. of a, you know, since. I mean, I guess I was younger, but um, it was more of a special occasion thing. Like we might go to a meditation the evening or something. But mm-hmm. now. Being home, I've really made a commitment that, you know, the first thing I do every day is meditate. Um, wake up and meditate. And some mornings it might be 10 minutes and other mornings might be an hour, um, from, you know, what time I have. But I think that's been the huge thing for me is, is just every day connecting into who I am and what intentions I held for the day, hold for the day. Mm-hmm. Um, that, I think that's been a big transformation is just giving myself time to listen. Mm-hmm. And I think what's been amazing for me is is that um, I we meditate in quite different ways sometimes. You know, I'm quite a I follow guided meditations quite a bit, and then Anna just goes off on her own journey in these meditations, and it's like this, the new generation of um, people that are on this earth are just so open to spirit and so um, just trusting of the universe, and that I think. You know, for me, for the last 40 years, people thought I was a bit weird because I meditated and I did all those things. But <laughs> here it is now that in today's world, it's so accepted and, you know, spirit is accepted. Whatever, it's, yeah. fantastic. it's fantastic. And, and you've taught me a lot. Which yeah, is, I, I think too is what we've learned is 
you know, for me, so in the morning when I meditate, I, I like to lie down because I just feel a lot more relaxed. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas you that. But then also too is like I've talked to other people that, you know, and we do this too, is like going out and like mm-hmm. for a walk in nature, like that's meditation too. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, going swimming or running or, um, yeah. or just finding a place to sit. Like it doesn't have to be this kind of zened out, kind of cross-legged. Yeah. You know, it's what you connect with. Yeah. And I, I think because I'm, I've been quite physical all my life is that I'll go for a bike ride in the um, bush, you call it forest, forest. Yeah, forest. <laughs> um, and I'll get a line for a word of poetry and then I'll come back and work with that. So, um, yeah. So I think it's just, just finding those things that you love and making sure that you do it every day. Yeah. It's been, the, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been, been you know. And we're, we've been lucky that we've been able to have this opportunity to do, to do it, yeah, to do it together and support yeah. one another. But, yeah, and my husband supports us as well. Yeah. <laughs> Which is lovely. Yeah. I think so, it's amazing because so you guys are like your support system, which is is very good. Yeah. It's good to have that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I know not everybody has that, but it's okay. You could still be your own support yeah. system. <laughs> but then I think, too, the great thing with social media is, you know, that there are all these communities of people, you know, reaching out and connecting with one another. So you might not have that immediate um, kind of relationship with someone, you know, that you can face to face with but you can reach out and connect and for us it was like wow there's all these people out there that love the things that we love too and it's been a really great thing because you can feel a bit alone at times on the spiritual journey yeah um so i think yeah with social media and, and you know and there's been people connecting with us with from war zones and from different sides of the war zone <laughs> oh, wow. you know and that's sort of part of the way as well yeah. you know yeah. that, that no, we can all we can all share and support each other. Coming yeah. from New Zealand too, and we feel so you know we're so <laughs> isolated and away from those things. And um, yeah, so that's been um, yeah, it's been really um, it's been rewarding, but it's just been yeah, just gets you really yeah yeah that you know you can have that community yeah. 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 I think that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if I had any other questions for you guys, but I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what do you want me to ask? It's been, been great, it's been great connecting with you and um, and just seeing what you're doing as well. So, well, yeah. that's fantastic. Thank yeah. you. I love to hear that everyone, you know, we do all have this, we can share, you know, how we feel. And I, think, yeah. I really love it. Yeah. And I think that's just, just what the world needs, you know, more positive energy when, you know, there's other things going on and you can get caught up with things that, you know, that the world's sort of. You can get caught up in that, mm. whereas yeah. actually there's these beautiful things that are going on and everyone's sharing this loving message and like when you focus on that, it's like, wow, you know, there's all these people out there that, you know, really love them. Yeah. And just, yeah. And want to make a difference so, and want to yeah. leave the world a better place. There, There's a lot of people, we're not the yeah. only ones, you know, there's other people yeah. out there too. I think that's a big thing mm. that I like to show the world is that there's people that want to leave a... Uh, a positive impact on the planet that want to make people smile that want to open their hearts to the world and share themselves like there's a lot of people you know you are yeah. two of them you guys are two sparks of light sharing your love to the world you know you're not alone we're not alone and you're- <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um where can so where can everybody find you guys um i'm gonna put your website so- like, on the video here somewhere. <laughs> oh cool yeah, so yeah, we've got our blog at well, our website is iamheartcentered.com and then um, our Instagram is I am heartcentered and Facebook as well. So yeah, just simple I am heartcentered. Mm. And it did, did a film degree, so she does all the creative um, <laughs> stuff, so it's fantastic. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that. Maybe we should do some other work together. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, when I come to New Zealand, we could do some filming and go for a hike. Yes. Yeah, and maybe when I come back over to um, California. <laughs> yes, if you come, let me know. I've only lived here for yeah. not even a year yet. I've been here for maybe, oh, nice. I think, nine months. Yeah. yeah I think so. <laughs> but yeah, if you come back, let me know. You're welcome to come stay here. I'm in mean, San Diego. Awesome. <laughs> not in LA, so I know the vibe in LA is different from down here. It's more like relaxed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Much more relaxed down here. <laughs> But yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. Um, hold on, I oh, want you guys. Thank you for giving us. Oh, yeah, of course. 
ocean is like my home. The ocean is something that's always brings me to balance when I feel out of balance. It is just reminds me of how many possibilities there are. It reminds me that there's so much that we worry about and a lot of it is just meaningless. Like look how big this ocean is. <laughs>